Hey James, um, can you can you sum that up from a, a player's point of view and um, how you felt the game went, where it got away from you? Um, like the positive thing was, you know, we put them under real pressure at times. I thought we created opportunities um, for ourselves, but um, you know, we just weren't clinical enough. Uh, I think. You know, probably our set piece let us down at times in crucial moments, and you know they scored off the back of some of those moments that that we didn't quite nail. Um, but look, I'm you know proud of the lads. I thought you know the team spirit was was brilliant. Uh, you know we kept at it, kept going, um, and um, I think we'll take a lot from that. Yeah, you kind of mentioned the set piece. The line it obviously didn't go particularly well. Was there a, a common team there you felt, or, or was it a couple of different issues? What, what was going on there? Couple of different issues, yeah. Um, just a, a collection of um, errors, really. Um, and you know, it's so important at this level um, to be accurate. So uh, it's definitely one big learning that we'll take. Look, it hasn't been a great run, obviously, against England now with, with these defeats. But it, my sense is that you feel you were close at that time, maybe, and that actually could have won that game. Yeah, I do think we were. Um, like I said, I thought we created loads of opportunities. We just the next step is taking them. Um, and the other side of that is, I thought this the spirit was was really good. Um, you know, especially after that second try. You know, when we had that moment in their twenty two, and then we didn't quite nail it. They went the length of the pitch. Um, it would have been very easy for us to dip our heads there, but we just kept kept banging the door. Um, same in that second half. Um, you know, we kept going. It was just little inaccuracies that. You know, kind of gave them points, but yeah, we'll take loads from that. Um, and I've no doubt that we're going to keep building. Cheers, James. When you say there was a few things around the lineups, like are they the same things that happened in Paris a few weeks ago, or are they different? Like what's going on there? Um, it's just little inaccuracies. Um, so it's it's no one person's fault. Um. Just collectively, we need to be we need to be more accurate there in those pressure moments. Um, so look, we'll have a look ourselves next week. You know, still kind of trying to digest the game. Um, you know, we'll, we'll see where we're at on Monday. What was the message at halftime? What was being said? We were saying to to just keep playing, uh, keep playing our game, um, to be brave, to back ourselves when it's on to play. Other times, then to you know to play to play in the right parts of the field um, just getting that balance right between having a go and then putting the ball in behind them um, so the message was to to keep backing ourselves to keep playing um, which I thought we, we did pretty well in the second half um, yeah James do you, do you feel that you can already close this gap if you keep coming up against this level of opposition that you know England, France they're obviously at the level now that you want to be at and do you feel like every time you play them you're learning more and you're getting closer? I do, yeah. Look, this is a new group. Um, new coaching staff. How many players have made their debuts over the last few weeks? So, you know, it's kind of a new chapter for us. You know, England in terms of where they're at, um, it's, you know, they've been together a lot longer. So, um, yeah, I've no doubt that, you know, the gap's closing there. Um, and we just need to, we just need to keep growing now. Um and we'll get so much from from games like this uh, as a group, um. So yeah, I've no doubt that uh, you know we're getting closer and closer. And how did you find the experience of captain in your country, and how much would you learn as as a captain whenever hopefully you get the chance to do it again? Like to be honest, the week was was much the same. Um, you know, Faz told me to focus on my own game, and that's what I tried to do all week. Um, so. You know, it wasn't a it wasn't a massive strain or anything. Um, you know, for me, I'm kind of much more concerned with, with the team and and the team performance um, than any of that stuff. Um, so, obviously, another game next week. Uh, we have a couple of days off, and then um, you know, it, the next kind of next early days, next few days of of next week, early in the week, uh, will be a great opportunity for us to to learn on the on that game and uh, to keep building. James, from this section. James, um, how's it going? It, it seems to be at the start of the game, the first 15, 20 minutes, the kicks in behind, like Ross Byrne was doing a good job uh, on that, but then it seemed to kind of go away after those, you know, two quick England tries in succession. You know, 
what was the kind of idea behind that? Because it seemed to be kind of working. It seemed to be working, but then we didn't really see it until maybe Billy Burns came on late in the game. What, playing the ball in behind him? Mm-hmm, yeah. Just want to play in the right parts of the pitch. Um, you know, I thought Bruno managed the game really well. Uh, and as I said earlier, it's just getting that balance right of playing and backing ourselves and then other times, uh, you know, kick into space. Um, so, I mean, I don't I don't really know exactly what the change of was in terms of the kicking game. You know, we'll have to have a look at that. Um, but as I said, I thought, I thought Bruno managed the game really well at times, you know, especially under pretty tough circumstances. Um, Keith Harris had spoken about there, you know, like during the week, he said the most frustrating thing about the last, you know, couple of losses, or maybe you guys didn't leave any shots on England. I know you kind of still lost today, but do you feel like maybe a, a couple of shots were landed on them today? I do, yeah, yeah. Um, as I said, I, th- I thought that was a much better performance than uh, the time we were here last. Um, you know, we had a go and we definitely fired some shots. As I mentioned in the beginning, I thought the team spirit was really good. Um, so we're just going to build on that. And, you know, next time we're going to look to fire even more shots. Um, so, yeah, I um, thought there was good character there today. Um, yeah, we'll get loads from it. Thanks, James. Thanks, guys. We're going to switch into Andy Farrell now. Hi, Andy. Um, where did you think England won that game? Uh, they're a smart side. They, 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 they they understand uh, what they're about and and uh, what the what the plans are about, and uh, they're relentless at sticking to it, aren't they? So, uh, I suppose uh, set piece pressure, uh, certainly from a defensive point of view, um, they obviously did a did a job on us there. Uh, as far as the the exiting and kicking game, contestable kicks were they um, hit man and ball and and fire through that first b- breakdown and then that makes that one slow so therefore um you know you you send your forwards into a, a brick wall on the, on the next one and then what do you do do you keep playing 20 meters backwards or or, or do you kick the ball etc so they controlled they controlled uh, the defensive side of their game uh, very well and uh yeah disrupted our ball and therefore made us play off of slow ball and and obviously, um, uh, they, they came out with the with, with the result on the on the back of that. They've obviously had a good record against Ireland in recent times. Do, do you feel a gap, or did you see signs there that that gap is closing? Well, of course, of course, you see signs because you know I, some some of that stuff out there is absolutely priceless for us. Uh, I heard James say before about about the journey. That we're on in comparison to England is is completely different uh, sides of the spectrum, really. So um, we'll learn a lot about that, about playing against a really good side, number two in the world um, at home. Uh, we'll learn uh, um, invaluable experience from from dealing with pressure, basically dealing with pressure and the pressure that they put on. You know, whether we're going to stick to task or making making decisions or whether we go into our shell, etc. You know, we'll we'll analyze all those decisions and and make sure that we uh, take some good learning from it. But I thought I thought the, the the character, as you would expect from from any Irish side, was 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 seconded on, and especially in that second half. And some individuals became became proper international players. I would have thought. Um, you know, there's some there's some immense performances, uh, and and from guys that you know will look back and, and and be a little bit disappointed, they'll be bigger and better for the experience as well. Good. Andy, what's your sense of what was going on at the lineout? I know it's not down to one person, but are you seeing similar things that happened in Paris a couple of weeks ago? Um, not really. You know, obviously, it's, uh, that's what I'm talking about regarding pressure. Um. Pressure, um, pressure. People react in different ways, don't they? You know, and uh, a line it's a, is co- is it has to be as cohesive as it possibly can. And uh, um, obviously, there was a there was a few overflows, um, uh, and then obviously we'll, anal- we'll analyze the rest. But yeah, um, I suppose it's the quality of ball that we was getting as well. Um, to set up the mall, I thought I thought they was coming down on us. Um, we got penalised uh, once for 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 playing them in the air. I thought there was there was a bit of that going on from both sides. So you know I've I've no I've no complaints there. But I thought they was good at getting through our line as well and, and putting some pressure on uh, on our ball. And then obviously when 
the defensive mall is, is pretty good and when it, when that collapses you're playing off slow ball again you know so uh, hence hence possession and territory uh, that is massively in our favour but playing off slow ball um, and then uh, five second rocks becomes becomes a little bit hard work. Are you concerned at all with the shape of the line out in general? No, I'm not. Uh, again, uh, like I said to you during the week and over the last couple of weeks, you know, it's it's a completely new line out. Uh, Devon Torn has dominated our line out and done an unbelievable job over the years along with uh, Rory, um, Rory Best. And, you know, Ian Henderson uh, has been um, next cab on the rank though as far as dominating uh, our line out and being the leader and he's not been available to us. So it's invaluable stuff for, for, um, for, for James Ryan. James Ryan... And um, and uh, Ian Henderson have been working closely together, and we'll get there, you know. We, we'll 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 fix it because th that's the type of people that they are. Um, and then, you know, Ron starts here for the first time. Um, he's played one game um, coming back from coming back from injury. Again, that's this priceless learning for, for him. So he'll he'll be better for the experience. I thought Rob did pretty well when it, when when he came on. So. It's it's a it's a it's a new it's a new line out team so to speak and uh, yeah we'll, we'll we'll learn from this experience and get better. Um, Andy, uh, it is a new line out. It is a new team in many ways. But do you think you can get it together by the time of Six Nations and you play France and England in Six Nations? Do you think you can have this team trying to, expecting to win those games by then? Uh, yeah, of course. Um, you know, you speak to those lads in, in the changing rooms, and they're, they're gutted that they've lost the game, but they've uh, they they showed a tremendous spirit there. Um, and then we just show them where where the where the belief needs to keep coming from, um, and uh, we'll be fine on the way forward. So, um, yeah, I thought, you know, you have a plan, and you you try and stick to the plan, and then sometimes pressure uh, um, disorientates the plan a little bit and it's just understanding the, the decisions that we've made along the way um, that's going to be key for us Andy how's it going um, listen this one might be a little bit harsh on you like you know you, you've just taken over the team this year but you know we're coming off a kind of disappointing 2019 for Irish rugby fans what happened in the World Cup and Six Nations can you kind of understand why Irish fans would be frustrated with how things are going and just coming up against that brick wall in England again? Well, like I've just said to you, the reasons why they're a brick wall because they're a good side. You know, the the uh, the tactics of being able to slow ball down, etc., is the reason for that. And obviously, you know that England side, they've been together for ten years. Um, they've been through some massive ups and downs, uh, and and it's those it's those down times. That they've learned from from the most, and uh, they've become they've become a fabulous side uh, over over um, a decent amount of period of time, and uh, we're on a completely different journey. And um, you know, uh, I mean, as far as as far as that that second half performance coming away with uh, obviously um, more points than than they had, and territory and possession, and yes, of course we needed to be more clinical, but we can be proud of that. 100% we can be proud of that. Um, uh, so the lads will, again, learn from this, this experience. They'll look the lips and, 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 and look forward to the next time, the next challenge. There was one comment you made there um, on RT after the game that picked up a bit of traction, talking about uh, boys becoming men against England today. <clears throat> uh, and you mentioned Chris Farrell. Was there anybody else that, that kind of, in your mind... Well, I thought... I thought, I thought uh, well, I mean... Have a, you, you talk about tough, and sometimes, sometimes you have to uh, um, uh, take the ball up into a brick wall and, and take your medicine. Uh, the amount of times that Caelan Doris came out the other side was 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 unbelievable. The amount of times that he kept offering himself, and James being captain for the first time, you know what an experience for him. Uh, I thought he played tough. He, he played really tough, you know. And um, again, for for the lads that that have played here for the first time, started for the first time in, in, in Jameson and Hugo and. Um, uh, Billy, etc. They're, they're all going to be bigger and better for for this experience and start believing in themselves even more so. Okay. Thanks, Danny.